Written by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Black holes are the universe's ultimate enigmas. These mysterious entities have fascinated scientists and the general public alike for decades. They are regions of space-time where gravity's pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. This makes them invisible to the naked eye, detectable only through their interaction with surrounding matter and the bending of light. These celestial objects are formed when massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycles. The process is both violent and spectacular, often resulting in a supernova explosion that outshines entire galaxies for a brief period. Imagine a star, many times larger than our Sun, imploding upon itself. The core collapses under its own gravity, compressing into an incredibly small and dense point. The result? A gravitational singularity, a point of infinite density shrouded by an event horizon. This singularity is where the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. The event horizon is the point of no return. It marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. It is the boundary beyond which the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes inescapable. Even light, the fastest thing in the universe, cannot break free once it crosses this threshold. Once you cross this invisible threshold, there's no turning back. You are pulled inexorably towards the singularity where the gravitational forces become infinitely strong. You are forever trapped within the black hole's gravitational grasp. The immense forces at play would stretch and compress any object, a process known as spaghettification. It's like falling into a cosmic vacuum cleaner with no off switch. The black hole's pull is relentless and unforgiving. Black holes are often depicted as monstrous devourers of everything in their vicinity. They consume stars, gas, and even other black holes, growing ever larger and more powerful. And while their gravitational pull is indeed immense, they are not cosmic vacuum cleaners roaming the universe, sucking up everything in sight. Their influence is limited to their immediate surroundings. They are more like cosmic traps, their influence limited to a specific region of space-time. Objects must come quite close to be captured by their gravity. But what if there was a different kind of black hole? One that didn't lead to inevitable destruction. One that didn't lead to inevitable destruction. Scientists have speculated about the existence of such black holes which might offer new insights into the nature of our universe. What if there was a black hole that was, dare we say, benign? Such a discovery could revolutionize our understanding of these enigmatic objects and their role in the cosmos. In the realm of theoretical physics, imagination often paves the way for groundbreaking discoveries. Theoretical physicists and mathematicians spend countless hours pondering the mysteries of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. Such is the case with the concept of a benign black hole, a theoretical construct proposed by a mathematician at UC Berkeley. This idea has sparked curiosity and debate among the scientific community as it offers a fresh perspective on the enigmatic nature of black holes. This hypothetical black hole challenges our conventional understanding of these celestial objects. Traditionally, black holes are seen as regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. Unlike their more destructive counterparts, benign black holes are thought to possess unique properties that could potentially allow matter and information to survive a journey through their depths. This concept turns the traditional view of black holes on its head, 
suggesting that they might not be the ultimate cosmic destroyers we once thought. Imagine a black hole that, instead of crushing everything that falls into it, acts as a portal to another dimension, or perhaps even another universe. This idea opens up a realm of possibilities for interstellar travel and the exploration of parallel universes. This is the intriguing possibility that benign black holes present. They could be gateways to new realms of existence, offering a bridge to places we can only dream of. The key difference lies in the behavior of space-time within a benign black hole. In a traditional black hole, space-time is thought to collapse into a singularity, an infinitely dense point where the laws of physics, as we know them, cease to apply. Instead of collapsing into an infinitely dense singularity, space-time inside this hypothetical black hole is thought to be stretched and distorted, but not destroyed. This stretching could create a stable passage through the black hole, allowing matter and information to traverse it without being obliterated. This distortion could potentially allow for the preservation of information and even the survival of matter, albeit in a vastly different form. The implications of this are profound, suggesting that black holes might not be the end of the road for anything that falls into them. The concept of a benign black hole is still purely theoretical. It exists as a mathematical model, a product of the human mind's ability to imagine and explore beyond the limits of current scientific understanding. It is a mathematical possibility, a tantalizing what-if in the vast landscape of theoretical physics. Researchers continue to explore this idea, running simulations and developing new theories to test its validity. However, the mere existence of such a possibility challenges our assumptions about the nature of black holes and the very fabric of reality itself. It pushes us to rethink what we know about the universe and inspires us to keep searching for answers to the most profound questions of existence. At the heart of a benign black hole lies a mind-bending concept known as the Kochi horizon. This is not just any ordinary boundary. It is a place where the very fabric of reality begins to twist and turn in ways that defy our conventional understanding. Imagine the event horizon as the point of no return, a boundary that once crossed leaves no possibility of escape. It is the edge of the black hole, the line that separates the known universe from the unknown. Now, picture the Cauchy horizon as stepping through the looking glass into a realm where the rules of physics as we know them no longer apply. It is a threshold into a world of surreal space-time. It is a theoretical boundary within a black hole where our understanding of time and causality starts to unravel. Here, the predictable nature of time and space begins to distort, leading to a cascade of mind-bending possibilities. In normal space-time, the past influences the present and the present influences the future. This is the natural order of events, the arrow of time that we are all familiar with. This is the arrow of time we are familiar with, a linear progression that moves forward, never backward, always dictating the flow of events. But beyond the Cauchy horizon, this linearity of time breaks down. The orderly sequence of past, present and future becomes a tangled web of possibilities. The past becomes fluid, potentially even erasable, and the future becomes uncertain, a realm of infinite possibilities. It is a place where the very concept of time as we know it ceases to exist. Passing through the Cauchy horizon of a benign black hole wouldn't be a sudden, catastrophic event. Instead, it would be a gradual warping of your perception of reality, a slow and steady shift into the unknown. Instead, 
it would be a gradual warping of your perception of reality. Your senses would begin to perceive time and space in ways that are completely alien to our everyday experience. Time would cease to be a linear progression and instead become a fluid, malleable dimension. It would stretch and compress, twist and turn in ways that are beyond our current understanding. Imagine experiencing your past, present and future all at once. A symphony of moments blending together in a dizzying crescendo. Each moment would be interconnected, yet distinct, creating a tapestry of experiences that defy logic. While the Kochi horizon remains a theoretical construct, its implications are profound. It challenges our very understanding of the nature of time, causality, and the fundamental laws that govern our universe. It challenges our very understanding of the nature of time, causality, and the fundamental laws that govern our universe. It forces us to reconsider what we know about the flow of time and the interconnectedness of events. It suggests a reality where the past is not set in stone and the future is not predetermined, a reality that exists beyond the event horizon of a benign black hole. This new understanding opens up a world of possibilities, where the boundaries of time and space are no longer fixed, but fluid and ever-changing. Let's venture deeper into the realm of quantum mechanics. Here, the very essence of what constitutes you takes on a whole new meaning. Instead of physical bodies, we are reduced to our fundamental building blocks, information, Imagine your memories, your thoughts, your experiences, all the information that makes you you, encoded in the fabric of space-time. As you journey through the benign black hole, your physical body might be stretched, distorted, even torn apart. But what about the information that defines you? This is where things get really interesting. According to quantum mechanics, Information cannot be destroyed, only transformed. This suggests that even if your physical form is obliterated, the information that makes you you could potentially survive, encoded in the quantum foam of space-time. Think of it this way. If you were to shred a blueprint, the building it represented wouldn't suddenly vanish. The information contained within the blueprint would still exist, albeit in a fragmented form. Similarly, your essence, your information blueprint, could potentially survive the journey through a benign black hole, scattered across the fabric of space-time.